Hey guys, um, today this is going to be a different video, this is going to be a room tour video. Uh, some of you guys actually requested me to make some room tour and show my collection. So I thought, well, yeah, why not? Um, so, this is my Disney collection. I can't really show you everything together uh, since the space here is like really limited, but um, uh, here we have. Come on, focus. Here we have the McFarren figures. Here, the three A figures. Sorry, my lighting is kind of falling in pieces right now. But hopefully, we can see. Well, oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Um some more uh, stuff and a life size get a horn and here is some collector's edition limited edition so that's um, pretty much the collection so we're going to start up here uh, oh. first up is Lord Saturday from Rise of Iron uh, figure by McFarlane I think this is oh can see super well. Sorry about that. Can we see better? Okay, this is really dark. Um, yeah, I think it's 10 inches tall or so. It's a really nice figure. It's still in the box. I actually display pretty much all my stuff in their box. Um, it just looks better to me. Then here we have uh, all of the, this is like the series 1 figures all the series 1 figures that were released up to now, so we have uh, two titans uh, three hunters and two warlocks and I do like a lot the packaging of those McFarren figures the packaging is just the right size in my opinion so we can see very well the figure and but it's not like too big packaging, it's just perfect for me. These look great together, I think. So we have a couple of ex a couple of exclusive up here. We have uh some target it's a target. I got pretty much all my exclusive from Ubi Games here, but I know there's this uh Hunter here, which is a Walmart exclusive, and I think this was a Walgreens exclusive. Um, McFarlane actually announced uh, more figures for Destiny 2, so this is just the beginning of the collection. It's going to grow up slowly. Then here we have the art of Destiny. Actually, have uh, I don't have any space for it right now, so it's just. Um, lying there, not doing anything. And if you like Disney, you like the design of the game. Uh, this is a really nice book. You have so many amazing artworks in there. This is just one of them. This is from the beginning of the game. And it looks really great. It's a very nice book. Um, so Oops, that's it for this part here. Then up here we have uh, the uh, 3A figures. These are the most expensive uh, Disney collectibles that I have. Um, first up here we have let me focus, the Titan, which is the very first figure that 3A released. Um, and it looks pretty good actually. I did uh, make a review slash unboxing of this figure. If you want to check it out. Then we have the Bam Banan uh, Hunter and Warlock, which come in the Shadow White Cheddar. Whoops. Come on. Okay. Alright. Up here. I do like them a lot. They look great, I think. And here is the Bungie Warlock, as well as 
the retail warlock and retail hunter and right in the back you can see all their weapons that I put on display these are all the extra weapons that came with the figure and uh, actually bought some display stands these were pretty cheap um, painted them in black because they were white before now they're black it looks better I think and that's how it all looks on display oh, I think it looks great looks great to me alright up here we have the life-size Galahorn by McFarlane uh, which is the last piece I got for Destiny and it's pretty big of course it's life-size also uh, made an unboxing for this if you want to check it out and uh, it didn't come with a stand so I did build a stand and uh, otherwise it was pretty hard to put it on display so that's how it looks up here is some stuff from uh, Loot Crate Gaming Loot Crate September so I think it was September 2017 this is a t-shirt, exclusive t-shirt with the ghost on it and it does look pretty good actually it's just a t-shirt and here is a uh, strange coin pin. I don't know if you can see. I think it's uh, pretty cool. The little item. Okay. Here is a K6 figure, which is. Uh, it looks pretty much like the uh, Destiny 2 pre order bonus K6 figure. Um, which is in the box right here. It's pretty much the same figure, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, it has a different pose. So, I don't know if I can. You know, he's holding his little pistol while the other one is different. Um, is there like. Yeah, it's like thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> thumbs up. Great. It's different, it's not the same. But the overall body is the same. Then over here we have uh, Destiny. Please focus. Destiny Ghost Venet, which is a Target exclusive. This was pretty hard to get. Uh, I know it sold out really fast in the United States. And there were so many scalpers selling this on eBay. Well, so I got it from eBay, of course. Here in Canada, we don't have targets. So I had to get it on eBay anyways. But I know some people in the United States had a pretty hard time getting this, because, well, scalpers were buying it and reselling it on eBay. Like crazy. <laughs> then up here we have, um, this is the Ghost from the Ghost Edition, which I have right up here. But this is just the ghost and well it's actually higher quality than this one of course I'd say it's a little I don't know I think it's a little smaller but it, it does feel higher quality and it's heavier and it's just better painted more details it looks better and it lights up oops can I right and it also does some sounds. Come on. Do some sounds. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. This place, this is, a place is amazing. Alright, so that's the ghost from the ghost edition. Alright, um, here we have a little, this is a Thin Geek figure. Uh, Saladin with his wolf, which are right up here. Um, what else? Um, now we can't see super well because of the gear horn. Oh, first up is a. Disney uh, sketchbook, 
which I have right up here. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you can see, it's made from faux ether. And I'm just gonna put it right up here for now. Um, I have another one up here. Right, this is not, uh, should I say, the perfect display right now. I did want to put like a second shelf up here so I can just display my stuff. Not behind the Galahorn, but anyways. Okay, that's the second uh, notebook that I have. Also looks pretty good. This is Guardian's journal, actually. It's a journal. As you can see, it's also very good looking. Also made from full liter. And up here is uh, this is a sketchbook, Rise of Iron sketchbook. So it's just blank pages, nothing on them. And it also looks really good. Can I show you? In the back. Right, and it's bigger than the other ones. In case you wonder, it's much bigger. It's also more expensive. Um, then here we have uh, the limited strategy guide, which is not so limited if you ask me. I mean, it's still in stock. You can still get this for really cheap, so not sure what limited means for them. Um, this is the Titan cover that I got. Maybe I can show you. And one really nice thing is, you can see, this Titan right up here. Looks a lot like this Titan right up here, isn't it? It's the same armor. I don't remember the name of the helmet. Uh, but you see it's the same armor, same color. Well, that's really cool. So let's take a little guide. Right. And of course this came with some um, little art prints which are right in there. Should I show you? Maybe I should. Okay, so strategy guide, blah blah blah. These are actually some uh, artworks that you're gonna find in the Art of Destiny book. So this is this is great. Nice looking. You know, Titan and Hunter fighting and the warlock. Right up here. And that's it actually, it's only two prints. Right. And right up here is the Destiny poster collection, which is still sealed. Didn't open it yet. And right up here we have the limited editions. So Destiny 1 limited edition. So this is actually the uh, European version. Um, but it still looks great. Destiny 2 limited edition and the Taken King limited edition as well as the Destiny 2 pre-order bonus from uh, AB Games and right up here is the Destiny Ghost edition it's complete um, but you can see that it's it's kind of damaged doesn't look very good this was supposed to be new um, and it arrived there was some scotch tape all over the place. I did um, remove all the scotch tape, so now it looks better. But you can still you can still see that it's not in perfect condition. Um, I was really mad about this. I did receive a um, refund, not a complete refund, but still. Um, I mean, the ghosts and the goodies inside were great, so in the end, I got this really cheap. 
that's pretty much it for uh, this room tour, collection tour video. Um, I hope you guys like it. I mean, you asked for it, so I guess you're gonna like it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and do not hesitate to check out my other room tour videos.